Hello YouTube. Alright, I got the Gigabyte board back from Gigabyte. Uh, yes. This little, this little Gigabyte Atom board. What are we going to do? We're going to test it to make sure it works still. So I have my lanyard of flash drives, the board itself, and a 350 watt power supply. So we'll take the board out and literally test it on the floor. <laughs> The board, I think, was reflowed. It's it smells it's it smells like it was. Yep, that smells like flux to me. It was definitely reflowed. So I think we all know what the problem was. Solder joints. I'll leave it just on the floor there. Plug in a. Uh, yeah, I'll just do this real quick. Okay, I got this whole setup set up here. Oh, might want to plug in the processor cable, actually. That'd be kind of helpful. I don't want to boot the machine at all. There, now it's all set up. Got this Antec 350 watt power supply. The board itself. I put uh, a 4 gig module of Corsair Vengeance in it. I don't, this board is not supposed to be able to take 4 gig, but it might boot with that, so that's just what I had handy that wasn't in the machine, so I'm going to try it anyway, out of sheer laziness. <laughs> so, here I've got a Dell AT101W keyboard, just to get into the BIOS, and I've got this uh, monitor here, so let's try it out and see if she boots. Okay. There we go. She is running, and she posted. Excellent. Hey, it actually um, sees the four gigs of RAM, four gigs of RAM. I wonder if it'll take eight gigs of RAM. That would be insane if it did. Yeah, seems to work. Let's put eight gigs in just to find out, huh? Huh? Let's experiment. So in order to do that, I'll shut the machine off with the screwdriver. Turn the power off. Move this little uh, the P4 connector out of the way. Let's stick in another RAM stick. Let's see if it actually takes more than what is what's in spec for it. All right, another stick here. Let's stick it in. Because if this thing takes eight gigs, the person who's buying this from me might be pleasantly surprised because it's supposed to only take four. Let's find out. Okay. All eight gigs are in there, so let's let's do this thing. Okay, let's try this again. See if it works with all eight gigs in there. Just for fun. Will she post? Let's watch the keyboard and find out. Hey, it did post. Oh my god, it does see all 8 gigs of RAM. That's awesome. It's supposed to only take 4, but it actually takes 8 gigs. How about that? That's cool, man. So, to the person who's buying this from me, you can put up to 8 gigs of RAM in here. This should last you quite a while as a file server. <laughs> that's, that's a pleasant surprise even I didn't know about cool. <laughs> so let's start this up from the flash drive and just make sure it boots an operating system because it went into the BIOS just fine before but it should be fine. Let's uh, reboot the machine here. Hit F12. Go about business. F12 boot menu. All right, USB hard drive. Well, it's, yep, it sees it. Okay, it boots the Sardu. Again, for you people who see me using Sardu, don't use it now. The the guy who created this has just infiltrated the newer versions with adware. It's it's terrible. It, don't don't use it. This is an old version that doesn't have that crap in it. So, let's boot Linux. Let's boot Ubuntu, 10.04. 
see what happens. Just take a look at what this board's all about while that boots. It's got PS2, serial, parallel, you know, the standard PC98 layout. There you go. It's booting Ubuntu off of that flash drive. 8 gigs of RAM in it. Uh, that, that's just awesome. I didn't even know this board took 8 gigs. That's crazy. It's booting an OS, so it's doing a hell of a lot more than it did before. That's very good. We have mouse. Excellent. It boots an operating system. Very good. So, this board's A-OK -okay in my book if it can boot from USB. Because it couldn't boot from a damn thing uh, a while back. Even from USB, it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't work from uh, CD either. So, Excellent. Let's see if I can trigger the shutdown thing. Yep, I can use a screwdriver to shut Linux down. <laughs> I love computers sometimes. Wait, it stopped and started again. I think I hit reset by mistake. Screw it. Just shut it off. So, this board is A-OK -okay and ready to go out to its new owner. Sweet. Gigabyte does a very good job with their warranty replacements. So... I just wanted you guys to know that. Just because a board, when a board fails, it's not necessarily the manufacturer's fault. Once a board fails, all that matters is how good the warranty service is. And Gigabyte's warranty service is top notch. It really is. I've had, I've had to send in boards to them before, and they do a fantastic job. It, it, you know, there's never an issue or bent pins or something at all. It, it usually just works fine. So, fantastic. Well, that concludes the testing of this board and experimentation. It can take 8 gigs of RAM, even though it's only spec'd out to support 4. That's pretty cool. So, there you have it, guys. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.